uh, we have an inequality involving a modulus um, so at first we take the positive one uh, consider uh, now we have to multiply both sides with x plus 8 whole square so that uh, there's no uncertainty about the inequality sign because if uh, x plus 8 was negative and we multiplied both sides with it we need to flip the sign but if we take x plus 8 whole square it would be positive regardless so now we continue uh, instead of breaking the whole term we'll get uh, a cubic that we'd have to solve we can just we can just move it to the left hand side and uh, take x plus 8 as common and we'll get x square minus 9 minus 6 minus 2x times x plus 8 now we'll have a quadratic that's much easier to work with uh, another issue would be that if you put uh, if you solve cubics directly using a calculator you wouldn't get marks uh, because it's not really allowed so now we continue Ex uh, you'll get this continue with the uh, quadratic uh, it comes down to 3x squared plus 10x minus 57 which can be written as 3x plus 19 times x minus 3 uh, so basically it would look like this uh, if there was a graph because this is a uh, plus x cube we have x times 3x times x so the x cube term would be positive so this would have a shape like this and we know we need greater than zero so the portion of the graph above this horizontal line will be required so it's this and this area over here which is in the range minus 8 to minus 19 by 3 and x greater than 3 that's for the positive now for the negative uh, using minus x plus 8 we do the same thing by uh, multiplying x plus 8 whole square on both sides then bring this term on the right to the left this time instead of x plus 8 we take minus x plus 8 as common you could also take uh, x plus 8 as common and keep the minus in here yeah, yeah you'll get x square minus 9 just continue breaking it uh, you'll get minus x square minus 10 x plus 39 uh, i prefer taking the minus over here outside and uh, this will become plus so x plus 8 times x square plus 10x minus 39 I basically uh, flipped the sign inside the bracket to make it easier to work with um, well I'll get and if we break this quadratic down we'll get x plus 13 times x minus 3 so uh, if we plot a graph of this uh, this is again a, a plus x cube graph so this shape uh, it would go like this and we once again need the area over the horizontal line over x axis so this and this minus between minus 13 and minus 8 and x greater than 3 uh, since this is a modulus inequality uh, we'll take both of this basically union of this it's not intersection uh, so this will be our answer minus 13 to minus 8 from this minus 8 to minus 19 by 3 for this and x greater than 3 which is common in both and that's all from question 5